Meteorologist Kevin Jeans is here to take us through two meter showers we can expect to see this month. Yeah, we have the, the big one is happening uh, in December. The Gemini meteor shower. That's the biggest one usually out of the year. I think uh, it doesn't get as much of attention as the Perseids in August because it's obviously colder outside. So, you know, the, the casual stargazers probably uh, not willing to get out in the cold in December. But uh, the Gemini's meteor shower coming up. I'm going to show you a few meteor showers coming up. These are all best viewed after midnight, about 2 a.m to 6 a.m. So get away from city lights. It could take as much as 30 minutes for your eyes to totally adjust to uh, the darker skies. Uh, keep in mind, these meteors are still visible outside of these peak dates, but I'm going to show you the dates that they will be peaking. So this is the calendar, right? You pull up your phone, your calendar next week, Wednesday, Thursday. That's the Geminids. That's the biggest meteor shower. A smaller one will be the following Friday and Saturday. That's December 22nd and 23rd. And then you actually have another one that's in January. That's the Quadrantids. That's January 4th. That's that one could be around 100 per hour, too. So let's first talk about the Geminids meteor shower. This is uh, up to 120 per hour. It's the biggest one we typically get through the year. So again, the 13th and 14th next week. You look in the western sky toward the Gemini constellation. There's also a new moon, which means darker skies, which is great news for the Gemini meteor shower. The Ursid one, not so impressive, 5 to 10 per hour. That's a Friday, Saturday morning, December 22nd and 23rd. You also have a full moon a couple of days after that, so that could to kind of spoil the skies for you. The quadrant is anywhere from 40 up to 120 per hour. That one is January 4th. Look toward the Big Dipper.